Alright, welcome back to another Secrets and Pros. And uh, we're going to be talking about a new tutorial here. It's been a while, guys, but uh, Ray is back. I want to shout out to all my subscribers hitting uh, 532. Uh, I want to say to everybody worldwide, stay safe, uh, practice social, uh, social distancing. Uh, stay away from uh, the COVID-19 and uh, keep alive. Keep connected to the Most High. So uh, today uh, I'm, I'm going to remind you guys about my Pioneer account. If you want to buy template sound kits, you can hit me up on Pioneer. Deposit $50 US. There's my account. And uh, today we're going to be talking about mixing reggae guitar. So uh, let's uh, bounce right down into it. So we're going to talk about mixing reggae guitars and what you need to get that solid reggae grip. So uh, let's jump right into it. Man. And that was featuring Lady I. So let's get straight into it here. I'm not going to get into no drums. We'll do that on another session here. But... Um, when you're doing uh, reggae um, music, you want to make sure you get the right guitar. So, uh, and by the way, I'm, I'm, I'm going to announce this one time. Uh, Matt Bundle is out. And it's a dangerous EQ. I'm going to show you one of them right now. Just, just to show. I'm not going to use it yet. But there it is. Fully activated. If you want to buy stuff from me, it only costs you $50 US. So, um, just putting that out there. So, when you're uh, composing reggae, you, the main grit and recipe is, of course, the guitars and the bass line. But we're going to focus on the guitars. Um, it kind of matters which guitar you use because you want to get that rich, authentic guitar sound. I'm going to play the guitar without the processing here. This is what I have. Sometimes uh, producers or other engineers would use uh, different uh, guitars from a uh, um, workstation. They would use... Um, they would use um, samples of guitars, but it's important for you to mix the guitar to give it grit. Meaning it's not it's just not good enough for you to plug a guitar into a board and get the sound. You need to run through a couple amps. Uh, you get what I'm talking about. So in case you all want to know, I'm using the Funky Country here uh, from, uh, from the Contact Phantom X. And this is running uh, Contact 6.1. Fully activated. I can sell you that as well if you want to buy it. And I, I just have a couple of knobs here. I can add reverb if I wanted to. To give it that more dub kind of sound. But for this texture of reggae here, I wanted some dry strat here. I can also put the wah. Kind of makes it distorted. I can do, do the chorus here. Let's give it a slight width. I can adjust the distortion or the delay. But the main thing, I want a tight chap. So I'm going to go into, first of all, the GTR Stomp Box 4 here, uh, which has a gate comp, a phaser, and a delay. And I'm, I'm going to turn, I'm going to play the, the, the guitar here. Why is it important to use the guitar? Because it goes well with the keyboard. When you play both of them together, you get that authentic reggae feel there. Along with the Strat. Now, without the piano, the guitar was still somewhat sung alone because in reggae, a lot of you guys might not know this, but a good piano and a, and a, and a Strat guitar combined makes that authentic sound. So, uh, I'm going to turn on uh, the GTR here, um, Stomp Box 4 here. Let's hear what it sounds like uh, on my uh, reggae guitar here, my reggae chops. Let's turn it on. Listen to that. Listen to how the gate is grabbing the chops and bringing up to the front. Gate off. Sounds a little sustained, not really too hot. Turn it on, gate on. You can hear that, that pick. So... You can also experiment and, and uh, mess with the phaser. 
It gives you a different feel, but I, I didn't want that. And that is followed by the SSL channel strip here. I'm going to play the bass line as well. And what I did is just take out some low end here and a little bit of excitement I added for reggae guitar about the 3K area, about 7 dB. I'm going to turn on back the SSL here. It also brings out that chop in the middle. Off, on. And when I did that with the SSL channel, it also created some resonance. So we use the Q10 from Waves and tame that a bit there. So I'm knocking out about 733 here. So if I bring in the drums here, let's um, unmute my power compression chain here. So if I play that with the piano here, And then as a little seasoning here, I added a Strat uh, sample here, which is basically just a little Strat noise. I pre-processed that. Um, it, it's a wave file, but I pre-processed that with the GTR phaser. I don't have it on here now, but is it the same phaser I used uh, here is what I added to the Strat noise, so it had, it had a little bit more phase sound to it. So when I play all three together, I get this. And of course we have the the zap sample here, which you hear in a lot of dump, dub plates here. So that's what I want to show you guys. Mixing reggae guitar here. So the tip of the day, guys, remember to experiment with some stamp box on your Strat sample or your, your VST guitar so you can get the reggae, get a little bit of grit there, and you can experiment with some distortion. So I'm going to leave with that one there. And, uh, I want you to support uh, my YouTube page, Pristine Productions, here. Subscribe and like. Send us comments. And I'll catch you on the next one. Me grain, but me spend every dollar kind. I me work hard for mines, 'cause me no hope for grind. That's why me always see the pile.